Okay, so just going to do a really quick video today. I um, just want to talk a little bit about this. This is the uh, T2 Cruiser conversion pack. Um, and basically what this is, is the kit that you need to install on your Hewing T2 to make it a VTOL aircraft. Um, and I thought I'd just do a quick video just showing you what you get in the kit. This isn't going to be a tutorial or anything. It's literally just showing you what's in the kit. Uh, just because it's quite an expensive kit and I think the price might put a few people off. But I thought if I show you actually what you get in the kit, you might kind of see why the price is kind of warranted. Um, so I've already opened it and had a quick look. look. Let's open it again. So actually the presentation is actually quite nice. I mean, it's nothing amazing, but I thought the hearing actually did quite a good job of just making it look a little bit nicer. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot in this kit. There's a, a lot of bags um, and bits and pieces in here. So we'll just kind of sort of go through quickly what's in here so you can see. Um, so obviously straight away here are your motors and these are rather big um they're not especially tall motors but they are a wide diameter they are fx 2812 680 kv motors um because this uh beetle kit will convert your t2 into a tricopter there are three of them one two and three Got nice long wires on them and there are uh, Nice thick silicone coated wires as well, which is exactly what you want. Um, yeah, it just looks like a nice, sturdy, good quality motor uh, with a hollow shaft. Um, yeah, it looks, looks very good. Uh, the most interesting bit, I think, is this. So these are the tilt servos. And as it says here, these are brushless servos, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, and it's fully enclosed in a metal case hearing branded and these things are massive uh for comparison i'll put one there over here that is a standard size servo so that's the size of the servo which is well in the t2 wings and uh elevator rudder etc the standard kind of servo that you get in most sort of rc aircraft and this is the tilt servo that they provided for the t2 so yeah as you can see it's huge and again it feels like a very good quality part <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, it feels like a very quality part. Like I said, it's made of metal. It's quite heavy. Yeah, hopefully it will prove to be very good. Um, and underneath that, we've got a little bag here with the um, the brackets and stuff that you need for you know connecting the motor and stuff. So yeah, so you get two of them, one for each of the wings. So let's have a look at some of the other stuff in here now. So we've got this uh, bag box here. How many are in there? So they provide you with four props, which is odd because you only need three. I'm guessing they give you one spare. Um, and I hope you can see down there as well, there's a little like hub adapter thing that you need that will be inside of the prop. I'm not sure what size props these are. I think 10 inch. Um, I'll have to put on screen to confirm that. But yeah, nice big props. Um, they're plastic, but they feel very solid. Yeah, hopefully they'll be all right. And with that, we've then got the ESC. So there's already ESCs in the wings of the T2, which is what you'll use for the first two motors. But this ESC will be for the tail motor. Uh, so this motor here, for example, will go on the tail boom. So you need to install an extra ESC for that. Um, can't see the sort of the specs of this ESC through the packaging here, but it's probably the same as the ESC that's already in the wings. Um, it's quite nice to see that they also include, and I hope you can see it there, there's a little heat sink there. Um, as well as all the various wires and stuff um, and a bit of thermal pad as well. Nice little touch there from Hewing. It means you can uh, install this ESC inside the fuselage somewhere and hopefully not have to worry about overheating. So yeah, you get that. Uh, moving over here. So this bag here has got the nacelles in. There's two of them. Um, kind of see it there. And yeah, they seem to be made out of good quality plastic. I know a lot of people on the T1 complained about the quality of the plastics. Um, I never had an issue with the plastics myself, but you know, fair enough if other people did. The T2, all the plastics on the T2 seem to be upgraded from what's on the T1. And from what I can see here, these new nacelles are made of that new upgraded plastic as well. So hopefully it'll be quite skookum. It's feel very solid. It doesn't feel like flimsy, cheap plastic parts. So yeah. That's the nacelles. Um, 
Over here then we've just got various little bags of wires and bits and pieces. Um, so this one here is the bracket for attaching the motor to the tail boom. There's also another little uh, bracket there which I think is to go in the tail boom. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, bag of screws, another bag of screws. There is your prop nuts and also a load of screws which I'm guessing is the screws you use to attach the motors to the excels possibly um, and then there's also this bag here which has a uh, special little um, like three pin connector looks a little bit like an XD30 but it's got three pins in rather than two and there's also this metal bracket um, and yeah that bit will go into the tail boom so where have I put it <coughs> this is the tail boom from my T2 and you see here it's got an uh, electrical connector at one end and it's got the electrical connector at the other end. Crucially you see this little opening here by my thumb, I hope that's not too out of focus, that little opening is where I imagine this connector goes because it's the same um, kind of shape and size so I go in there and as I mentioned in my initial T2 review in the inside of the fuselage where this connects into there's actually a receptacle for this plug so this plug here the other side of it the receptacle for that is already installed in the t2 um so i'm not quite sure what the thinking is here because like i said this is the the tail boom for the t2 as i have it at the moment and it's already got the electrical connectors installed well other than the the yellow one there but in the t2 conversion kit they actually provide you with a new tail boom and to all intents and purposes let's get this the right way around it's almost exactly the same as the original the only difference being okay well it's, it's a little bit longer let me line them up so yeah this new one is a little bit longer and it's also got this uh, opening here which i'm guessing is where you're going to route the wires for the um the tail boom motor but it doesn't have any electronics installed in it at all the only thing that's installed in there at the moment is for this little button here there's a little spring in there that's been pre-installed but nothing else been installed um so what i'm thinking that they're expecting you to do is they probably want you to take all the electronics out of the stock uh tail boom and i'm expecting that they want you to then install it into this new tail boom so at the moment, Hewing haven't provided any documentation on how to put any of this together. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure that's why they sent me this kit. I should have mentioned at the start of the video, they sent me this kit for free. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason they sent it to me is so that I can then do the tutorial, because that's kind of what my YouTube is known for. I can do a nice straightforward tutorial showing you guys how to set all this up. Um, so yeah, I've got to sit here and try and figure out how to put all this together. It shouldn't be too hard. I have messaged T-Wing just to ask them if they can send me just some basic notes or something, just to give me a bit of a head start. But if not, I'll sit here and I'll try and figure it all out for myself. Um, so yeah, at some point in the future, you'll get a you know a nice straightforward tutorial out of me showing you how to put all this together. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I've got to try and figure it out. But yeah, I just thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what you get in the kit. Um, and yeah, I think it's actually... A pretty nice looking kit i know it's a little bit expensive but i mean like when you look at these servos here um i don't know how much these servos cost although i have been told they're very expensive i think a large part of the cost you're paying for in this kit is these servos and when you think about it on a VTOL, uh the tilt servos actually are <coughs> pardon me the tilt servos are actually kind of holding the aircraft together like if you think about it the motors are trying to pull the aircraft up the tilt servo is the point where the motor connects to the aircraft so you want those servos to be very solid and especially on an aircraft as big as the t2 you want something a little bit more durable than something like this so yeah i think a large part of what you're paying for on the t2 conversion kit is these servos i think they're very expensive servos but you'll be grateful to have them um and yeah the other electrons as well like these motors still look very good um and all the other bits they just look like they're good quality so hopefully it will turn out to be a good kit but certainly on first impressions i think it looks like it's probably worth the money um 
so yeah anyway that's all i've got uh to say in this video but i just thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see this kit uh just to give you a heads up what you get anyway i've got a run of things to say now so i'll catch you in the next video cheers guys bye